For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used nearly a full skein of Red Hearts Super Saver Jumbo in Cafe Latte, some Red Hearts Super Saver in Coffee, and Karen 1 pound in Lace. As for tools, a 6mm hook, 7mm hook, stitch markers, scissors, and a tape measure. We're using 6 stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain Slip Stitch Single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and treble crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and be explained how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting these pants started, we are first going to grab our category 4 yarn, make a slip knot. We're going to grab our 6 millimeter hook and start off by making a chain that comes out to about half of the band that we want. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 2 inches, or 5 centimeters. Once we have our chain, what we're going to do is block off that last chain. We're going to do a chain up of 3, that counts as a double crochet. From here we're going to prepare for a double crochet, and then insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off, or the fourth loop from our hook, with a double crochet. So let's do the next double crochet together, just a little bit more slowly, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that next available loop that we have, yarn over, pull through, we should have three loops on the hook, we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we're going to keep doing this all the way down our chain. We have just made our way all the way down with our row of double crochet, putting just one into every chain. What we're going to do from here is do another chain up of three that works our way up to the next row and counts as a double crochet. We're going to flip our work, prepare for a double crochet, and then we're going to go into this first loop that we have, going into the back loops with another double crochet. So into this first back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And let's do the next one together, prepare for a double crochet into this next back loop, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to keep doing back loop double crochets going all the way back down. Once we make it to the end, we are going to chain up three, flip our work, and then continue doing back loop double crochets going back down. And we're going to keep doing this until this reaches a length that can fit over the widest part of your hips. And for me, I'm going to be going for a total of 36 inches or 92 centimeters. We have just finished up doing our band and now we're going to connect this row to the first row that we made and then we have a little bit more detail to go into for this portion, but let's connect it together and then we'll do the rest in a minute. But once when we get here, since our hook is already in this way, we're going to fold it any which way would be easier for us to start this next section. We're just going to take the other end that we have of our band, insert our hook into there. Once we have that, we're going to yarn over pull through everything on the hook. And then once we have that, we're going to insert our hook into this next available loop that we have in the fr front panel. And then we're going to insert our hook into the next available loop that we have in the back panel. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So we're just closing it off with a single crochet. Let's do the next one together. Insert into the next loop in the front panel, insert into the next loop into the back panel single crochet and we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we make it to the end we're going to cut and tie this is what our seam should look like once we're done going all the way down and if we flip this over this is what the front is going to look like it's nice and clean and once we have this done the next thing we're going to do is go in with a row of our secondary color along the top and the bottom with just a little bit more ribbing but before we can start the ribbing we're going to have to go in with a row of single crochet so that's going to be super easy we're going to take our hook, insert it into any one of these side double crochets that we have, take our secondary color, insert that onto our hook, pull through, and we're going to chain up one just to secure, and I don't like to count this loop as our first single crochet, so with that being said, into this side double crochet that we're into, we're going to be going in with two more single crochet. So here is one single crochet, and then two single crochet, and then once we have that, we're going to do the same thing right next to it. So into this next side double crochet, we're going to be going in with one single crochet and two single crochet. 
and this is going to be the beginning of this portion so go ahead and keep doing this all the way around once we make it to the first loop we're going to connect into that first loop with a slip stitch now that we've made our way all the way around with our row of single crochet the next thing we're going to do is simply go in with a row of half double crochets for now so all we're going to do is do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet prepare for a half double crochet and then into this next available loop we're going to insert our hook yarn over pull through we should have three loops on our hook from there we're going to yarn over pull through everything on our hook let's do that just one more time prepare for a half double insert into the next loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and we're going to keep doing that all the way down and once we get to the end we're going to connect it with a slip stitch and then we have one more row of half doubles to do but we're going to be going in through the front and back posts together We've made our way all the way around with our row of half double crochets and now we're going to be going in with front and back post half double crochets just to get a little bit more ribbing on this section so all that is is chain up two this counts as a half double crochet we're first going to be going in with a front post half double crochet so all that is we're going to prepare for a half double crochet and then we're actually going to be going behind this first half double crochet post that we have just like this and then from here we're going to finish it off like normal so we're going to yarn over pull through and then we should have three loops on the hook just like how we would be if we we're going in through the normal loop from here we're going to yarn over pull through all three and that is our first front post half double crochet and once we have one of these we're going to be going in with a back post half double crochet which is the same just going in through the back mm -hmm. so we're going to prepare for a half double crochet then we're going to slide our hook behind our work into this next half double crochet post that we have right here we're going to bring our hook in between the first and the second and this is going to go over this next half double crochet post we're going to yarn over pull through and then we're going to yarn over pull through all three and then that is our back post half double crochet let's do one more set of front and back post and then i'll let you guys go from there but from here we're going to prepare for a front post half double crochet into this we're going to be going underneath this next half double crochet that we have we're going to yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and then next is a back post so we're going to prepare go behind our work go in front of this next half double crochet post yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and then that is our little bit of ribbing we're going to continue doing front and back post half double crochets and once we make it all the way around we're going to connect with a slip stitch we're all finished up with our front and back post half double crochets and for this part this is going to be the top of our band we're just going to go in with our third color and that's just going to be a row of regular single crochet so that's going to be easy peasy we're going to insert our hook into any of these loops it doesn't matter which one take our yarn insert that onto our hook pull through once we have that we're going to chain up one to secure and then from here just put one single crochet into every loop that we have going all the way around once we make it back to the end we're going to connect with a slip stitch chain up one and cut and then this entire sequence that we just did minus this single crochet row that we're currently doing we're going to do it just one more time along the bottom portion of what we have with our side double crochets so we're going to do a row of single crochet and then row of half double crochet and then front and back post half double crochets on top of that and then i'll meet you guys back so that we can do the rest of the pants together and before we get started on this next part we're going to be switching out our hook for a seven millimeter hook this is what we should have once when we are all finished up with our band and just to let you guys know from one tip all the way down to the next i have a total of four inches or about 10 centimeters and then once we have this we can actually go in with our leg now but right before we get started with that we're going to need to insert some stitch markers into some places so what we're gonna do is first find where our halfway point is and then I went ahead and put in those stitch markers and that will be where the pants where the pant legs <laughs> meet each other so we're gonna be working on one side and it's gonna go all the way around and then we're gonna stop right here and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side but once we have that half figured out we're going to need to go in and find where the other half is so like this because that's going to be where we have the slits for our pockets but once when we have those figured out what we're going to do is grab our first color that we want we're going to insert 
our hook into where our stitch marker is and then we're going to go in with a chain that is the length that we want our pants to be and this is completely up to you but i'm just going to make a chain of 30 inches or 77 centimeters once we have our chain what we're going to do from here is block off that last chain that we made we're going to do a chain up of two this counts as a half double crochet and then into this first row we're going to be doing a row of half double crochets so we're going to prepare for one insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off or the third loop from the hook with a half double crochet and that is it we're going to keep going all the way down our chain until we don't have any more loops left to go into and then we're going to slip stitch into the base and then i'll show you guys what to do from there we have now done our row of half double crochet going all the way down our chain and now we're ready to connect it into the base but right before we get started i have a really quick tip for you guys if you guys are right-handed then we're going to be working towards the right of our work that we currently have and also make sure that our seam is already facing the inside so that we don't have to flip things inside out but we're doing it this way so that once when we connect it in with a slip stitch it'll look clean on one side and then the other side will be the inside so that we don't have to look at it but since we're now working along this side what we're going to do is count up two loops one here's two and we're going to slip stitch into that second loop so we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through everything. And that is our first loop. But since these are half double crochets, we're going to be alternating between slip stitching up one loop and counting up two loops. So since we counted up two loops, now that we're closing in this row, in order to work our way up to the next row, we're just going to slip stitch up one. And then this is how we start off each row. Once we have that, we're going to flip our work and then go in with back loop half double crochets. So we're going to prepare for a half double crochet. Go into this first loop that we have, going into that back loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through everything. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down. Once we make it to the end, we're going to chain up two and then continue to work our way back down with back loop half double crochets. And then once we make it down to this end, since we're closing off that row, we're going to count up two loops slip stitch into that second loop and then that row is finished and to work our way up to the next row we're just going to be slip stitching up one loop and then working our way back and we're going to keep going back and forth like that until we reach our next stitch marker because that's going to be where we leave the slits for our pockets and the last thing i'm going to say is that i will be switching out my colors so if you guys are as well now is your chance to do so and i'll meet you guys back once we have all of this done We now have about half of our pant leg done and as you guys can see we have stopped at our stitch marker that we have right here and all we need to do is measure out where we want our pocket to be and I have made a measurement of four and a half inches or 12 centimeters and then from here we're just going to make a chain from this end to this end that is the same amount of loops that we have here and then once we have that we're going to go in with more rows of back loop half double crochets going over the chain that we made and then continuing on with the pattern that we have from there all the way up until we get to this middle point right here and then once we get to this point we're going to cut and tie and then we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side but it's going to be two separate pieces because we're going to combine them together later so getting started on the pockets it's pretty simple whenever you guys figure out how long you want your pockets to be i have put my phone up to my pants and i know that it can fit my phone because that's what i'm mostly concerned about but well, once we have that, the next thing we're going to do is just make a regular chain that goes from stitch marker to stitch marker. And so I'm just going to grab the next color in my color pattern that I'm doing, make a slip knot, insert my hook into this first stitch marker we have, insert it into our hook, pull through. And then however many loops we have in between where our hook is versus this other stitch marker we're going to count i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so all i'm going to do is do a chain out of ten. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 5 6 7 8 9 and 10. once we have that insert our hook into that next stitch marker we can now take this guy out and attach it with a slip stitch so yarn over pull through everything chain up one and cut and then the rest of this is going to be exactly the same way that we've been doing the rest of the pants the only tip that i have is seeing where we have left off with our work so this is 
where I cut and tied, the last thing that I did was doing a row down this way. All I'm going to do is start my next row over here. So I'm going to insert my hook here, chain up two, and then work my way back with my next color, which is the same color that I have right here, just to make sure that everything matches. And then continue doing the pants back and forth, and then we will be done when we reach the next stitch marker. So I'll meet you guys back. So this is what we have once when we have gone about halfway around our waistband that we have. This is nearly one entire pant leg done. And so we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. So all we're going to do is, since our stitch marker is right here, we're going to insert our hook into this next available loop. And then the rest of this is going to be exactly the same. So just make a chain that is the same length as you guys have on this side. And then go in with back loop half double crochets and then alternate colors however you guys are alternating it and then don't forget the pocket slit <laughs> and then I'll meet you guys back once when we don't have any more loops left. So this is what we're at once when we have finished doing both of our pant legs and once when we're here we need to connect the pant legs going from the ankle all the way up to where we want the middle connector. So in order to get that measurement, you're going to want to try this on and then measure from here down to where you want the middle connector to be because this is going to be what connects these two portions together. And then go ahead and put in your stitch markers. I've already gone and done one side. And just to let you guys know, from this point down to where I have my stitch markers, I have a total of 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters. And then right before you take it off, we're going to have to measure one more thing. You're also going to want to measure out and see if you guys need to do a little fill in in between the first layer that we have into the second layer. And this is just so that it fits around our thigh a little bit more comfortably because once when it hits here, it's just going to go straight all the way down. And I need just a little connector. I'm just going to go in with a few more rows of what we've been doing, which is half double crochet back loops. And I'm just going to be making a little chunk that equals out to an inch and a half or four centimeters. And just to let you guys know, this is what it looks like. It's the same exact thing, but it just goes all the way up to where we hit our connector. And then once we hit that, we're going to chain up two and then work our way back down with more back loop half double crochets until we get the measurement that we need. So go ahead and do that. And then I'll meet you back once we have this done so that we can connect it all together. And then we can do pretty much everything else. <laughs> This is what things are looking like now that we have our little chunk that's going to connect one part of our leg piece to the other part. And now we just need to connect it really quick. It's going to be super duper easy. So all we're going to do is go down to the ankle. Then we're going to insert our hook in through the front panel. And then insert our hook in through the back panel. And then once we have that, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through, chain up one to secure. And now we're going to be going in with a row of single crochet, but going in through the outside loops. So all the outside loops means is that we're going to be going into the loop that's closest to us in the front panel. And then the loop that's furthest away from us into the back panel. So let's do the first two together. Into this first available loop, we're going to be working into this front loop. We're going to insert our hook into that front loop. Into this back panel, this next available loop that we have, we're going to be working into that back loop. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and we're going to single crochet just like that. Let's do the next one together really quick. Into this next available loop in the front panel, we're going into the front loop. And then into this next available loop in the back, we're going to be going into the back loop. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And then we're doing it this way so that we can continue the ribbing along the other side that we have. But we're just going to keep doing this all the way up until we meet our connector right here. And then once we meet our way down here, we're going to cut and tie, and then we're going to connect the rest of this and then work on our pockets. This is what we have once when we have our connecting pieces all done. And once when you guys have one, go ahead and do the same thing to the other. But once when we have both of these done, now we're just going to connect this gap that we have right here. And this is gonna be fairly easy. All we're gonna do is take this longer portion we're going to sandwich this together and then we're going to be doing single crochets all the way down and then we're also going to connect this connecting portion single crochet around that and then go along the other side so we're just going to do the first little bit together and then we'll start to working on the pockets right after that so to get started on this we're actually going to be going in with a slip stitch into the base just so that we don't have a little gap in between the base and our 
first single crochet that we do so all we're gonna do and this is gonna be the same whether if you guys have one loop in the middle or if you guys have two like me but all we're gonna do is just insert our hook in through that middle loop insert our yarn onto our hook pull through chain up one to secure and now that's connected now we can go in through the first bit of our outside loops so into this front panel we're going to be going into this front loop and then into this back panel we're going to be going into the back loop and then we're going to single crochet and this is going to be exactly the same so i will not bore you guys with the details anymore we're just going to keep going down until we hit that middle connecting portion which is where we did our smaller rows of half double crochets and i'll meet you guys back so that we can do that together even though it'll be the same but we'll do that together anyways We've gone in with our row of single crochet along the length of our work and now we have to do the same thing into these little connectors that we made. So all that is going to be is we're going to sandwich these side half double crochet rows together just like this and then since we're into this last loop that we have right here we're just going to go straight into the first side half double crochet and then the second side half double crochet with a single crochet. And then since these are both side half double crochets, since the first loop that we went into was a single crochet, we're gonna be going into the next one with two single crochets. So here is one, making sure we're going in through the front loop and the back loop, and there's two. And then into this next one, if you guys have more than just two <laughs> into this next one, making sure we're going in through the front loop and the back loop, just one single crochet. So we're just alternating between one single crochet and two single crochets into each side half double. And then once we reach the end, we're going to continue to work our way back up this other side of the connector, the length, all the way up. And then we're going to connect into the base with a slip stitch, just like how we started. We're gonna cut and tie, and then we have some pockets to do. Now that our middle portion is all connected, the next thing we're gonna do is work on the pockets. And this is going to be pretty simple. The first thing that we're going to have to do is count out and see how many available loops that we have within our pocket that we have and then we're going to start off by making a chain with that amount of loops so to start off our pocket we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and we're going to start off by making the same amount of chains as we have available in this hole that we left 10. and then once we have that what we're going to do is block off that last chain and we're going to be going in with double crochets because this is going to be on the inside it doesn't need to match the outside but we're going to do a chain up of three that counts as a double crochet we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then into that next available loop we're going to insert our hook with a double crochet once we have that we're going to prepare for another double crochet and go into that next loop we're going to keep putting just one double crochet into every chain going all the way down. We now have our first row of double crochet done for our pockets and the rest of this is going to be fairly simple. What we're going to do is do a chain up of three, flip our work, prepare for a double crochet, and then go into the next available loop regularly with a double crochet. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down once we make it to the end. We're going to chain up three, flip our work, and work our way back down with more double crochets and we're going to be working on the height of what we want our pockets to be and i do want to fit my phone so i'm going to keep going until i have a total of six and a half inches or 17 centimeters i now have my six and a half inches or 17 centimeters for the length of the pocket and the last thing that we have to do just for this one panel that we're going to do is do a little row two rows actually of increases and by increases i mean this we're going to start with single crochets and it's eventually going to get taller into one corner and we're doing it that way so that once we attach it to the pants the pockets have a better chance of sitting downward instead of just going straight out but we're actually going to be doing two rows of this and this is going to be different for everyone depending on however many loops you have i'm just going to show you guys what i have and then we'll move on from there but like i said we're just going to go from single to half double to double to treble and i don't like to go any higher than treble because then it makes the pocket kind of flimsy but we're going to just kind of adjust from however many loops we have so for me what i'm going to do is chain up one and into this first available loop i'm going to be going in with one single crochet i'm going to be doing another single crochet and then i'm going to be doing two half double crochets right after that there's one 
there's two and then i'm going to be going in with four double crochets so we're going to prepare into the next one here's one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet and four and then the last two loops that i have i'm going to be going in with two trebles so all that is is yarn over twice insert your hook into that next loop yarn over pull through we're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and that is our first treble let's do the next one together yarn over twice insert into the next available loop insert pull through we're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then this is our first row of our increases but you guys can leave it here if you want but i'm just going to be doing one more row of this so all i'm going to do is do a chain up of four since we're on this side this counts as a treble crochet we're going to flip our work and then repeat the same thing that we just did in the previous row so we have one treble crochet already we're going to be doing one more right next to it so yarn over twice insert into that next loop yarn over pull through pull through two pull through two pull through two and now we have two treble and then in the previous row we went in with four double so here is one double two double three and four double crochets and then we have two half double there's one there's two and then two single here's one here's two and then this is the height that i want for my pocket so i'm going to chain up one and cut and then we're going to be doing another one of these so that we can sandwich this together and that will form one pocket so in total we're going to need to make four of these guys so go ahead and make those four and then i'll meet you guys back now that we have our four pockets what we're going to do next is just attach it onto our pants so the first tip that i have to tell you guys is the way that we're going to lay it down is the height of our pocket that we have right here the longest part this part is going to be closest to the band so that the pocket can face downward just like how it is right now and then also make sure that your pants are flipped inside out still so that our seam is facing the inside so what we're going to do to lay this first pocket down what we're going to do is actually jump over this side right here and then we're going to take our pocket and then we're going to be connecting it this way so that once we flip it over the seams will be facing the inside so all that's going to be is inserting our hook in through the first available loop that we have in the pocket and then also we'll do that later also inserting it into the first available loop that we have in the body portion we're going to make a slip knot pull this through the pants and then pull this through the pocket chain up one to secure and then once we have this we're going to be going in with a row of outside loop single crochets just like how we did the pants so really quickly outside loop single crochets just one more time into this first available loop that we have in the front panel we're going to go in through the front loop and then into the next loop that we have in the back panel go in through that back loop and then from there we're going to single crochet and then we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we don't have any more loops left we're going to cut and tie and then we're going to attach the other pocket to this side i'll show you guys how to attach it and then we can go around with the row of single crochet around the entirety of the pocket connecting the two sides together we now have our first pocket attached to our work and as you guys can see the seam is along the inside so once when you flip it out it's clean along the outside and we're going to be doing the same thing to this side so we're going to be doing it the same way that we did this side all we're going to do is flip our work this way and then we're going to skip this loop obviously because our pocket is in this one and then reach over and attach this side of the pocket to this side of the body portion of the pants and once we have that we're going to do more outside loop single crochets attaching them together and then we're going to go around with a row of single crochets so once you get to the end don't cut and tie we're now at the point where we're ready to attach the sides of our pockets all together so the first thing that we're going to do is do one single crochet into the body portion of the pants so that there's no gap in between the pants and the pocket and this is going to be all dependent on you there may or may not be a loop that's there for us to go into if there's not then go ahead and just find one it doesn't need to be pretty because this is going to be on the inside 
But once we have this, I'm just going to be inserting my hook in through the loop that I have into the body portion. Then also into this first loop that I have into this other pocket. And then we're going to go in with a single crochet, just like that. And then we can adjust our grip and then we can go in with single crochets. So into this first chunk, we have this side double crochet and then this next side double crochet. So you guys already know the drill. We're going to be putting two single crochets into that, making sure we go in through the front loop and the back loop. So we're going to do one single crochet and then two single crochet. Let's do the next one together really quickly into this next side double crochet. We're going to be inserting in through the front loop and also in through that back loop. Single crochet one, single crochet two. And we're going to keep doing this all the way around. Once we make it to the end, we're going to be slip stitching into the main portion of the pants again, cut and tie. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. We are now all finished up with inserting our pockets. This is our pocket hole. I did flip it inside out, but just to let you guys see it, this is what it looks like. And the next thing that we have to do is make a drawstring that can be woven in and out of our band. And I'm just going to make a regular chain of 45 inches. Now that I have my chain, all I'm going to do is weave it in and out of this band that I have. This is going to be super easy. So we're just going to eyeball, see where the middle portion is. I'm going to insert my hook or tapestry needle, whatever you guys have. And I'm going to pull this through all the way, leaving just a little tail at the end so that we can keep our tie here. And then what I'm going to do is count out three double crochet rows. So here's one, two, three into that fourth. I'm going to insert my hook. I'm going to pull this through again. Pull it all the way through so that it's nice and taut, just like that. And we're going to keep doing this all the way around. And then once when you guys have gone all the way around, the last thing that you guys have to do is just weave in your ends and then you are all done. Well guys, we have woven in our ends and we've managed to make another pair of pants that I refuse to take off because they're so comfortable. And kudos to us, so go ahead and enjoy these pants and take as many naps as you want. But if you guys feel the same way about these pants, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, it's right beneath the video. It lets YouTube and I know you're enjoying the pants and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow and gain traction. But if you didn't like it, give this video a thumbs down, but be sure to leave me a comment letting me know why you didn't like it. Or if you have any questions, requests, or if you just want to say hi, I usually reply pretty quick. And if you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's right beneath the video too. It'll let you know when there's a new video uploaded to the channel. It's a little bit more priority when it comes to requests, and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow so we can keep making all these great videos for you guys. And if you're already subscribed, huge thanks to you guys, but please hit that notification bell to know when there's a new upload for you guys right away. And please share with your friends, because every bit helps. Links to the yarn and the hooks will be in the description, and if you buy something using those links, that also goes towards helping out the channel. And lastly, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.